See stuff covered in water. Everything is wet and nasty this morning. Carlos is gonna go to football. He's in there getting his, waking us up. I gotta head out, we gotta hold. So you saw him right there. That's my enemy right there. That's my enemy. That sunshine coming up right there. Uh, all right, so sunshine's coming up. I'm running behind further than I wanted to. It is 6.35. I didn't wake up till six o'clock. My wife is already up. She was leaving the house at six this morning, or she left about 6.10, but she didn't know. I told her I caught a hog, but she didn't, you know, she was in her sleep. She took her some melatonin. She was out, but oh man. So when I, when I woke up, of course, we had those uh, blackout curtains in our room, so I never saw any daylight. But when I woke up and saw it at 6 o'clock, I was like, oh, baby. Oh, baby, because she was already up. And uh, she's like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, I know, baby. It ain't your fault. But So I pulled him up on camera, and he was standing up on the trap. So I was like, he finna jump. So that's my hardest thing is, is when you got hard ground, even though we had a storm last night, we're in that gravel road. And we'll talk about that gravel road here in a little while if I get there in time to get this hog knocked down. If we don't, I'm gonna be so mad, I, I might not even wanna talk about nothing. <laughs> but we rolling, we rolling. But uh, main thing is we need to get to this hog, to the club. It's a boar hog. Uh, and hopefully he, he don't jump out. So, but that sunshine's coming up and he's in the wide open and they don't like sunshine in the wide open. And that's facts. So, uh, care what kind of trap you got they go into survival mode they spent their life running to the shades you know what i'm saying so uh and he ain't in the shade but uh, i woke up late but it wouldn't be a y'all y'all show without tearing up something not being on time uh, or not being professional like even though i'm, I'm a professional right <laughs> yay 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 all right we'll... say it with me one time when you see the gates, her head not gonna wait. I hope so anyway. Uh, posted. So I'm gonna post something. <laughs> uh, anyway, just being silly, but I'm in a hurry. I'm gonna go on and actually get my boots on. It's gonna be nasty. I mean, we had a storm last night. I almost got up just to show y'all the storm we was having, because I had already caught the pig. Yeah, we was having a storm and I caught the pig and then we had more storms, so. That rain probably beat him down pretty good in that trap too, but anyway. Uh, get them old boots on, get them light boots on, but we get them on and we're fishing to roll down here and see if we can. I'm gonna just roll right up on him and jump out because he liable to start just jumping. We'll see how this goes. I know y'all seen this before, but just riding through the hunting club, going through here to get to the pig. And uh, they're actually gonna come in here and cut just a little bit of timber. I think like they're gonna thin out, I mean, select cut uh, 230 acres or so of uh, pines and just thin it out, thin and select cut and then uh, stuff like that. So, oh, we're just easing on through the club. See, this is a gravel road. We'll talk about this gravel road when we get up here, but oh, it's a nice little road when they built a TVA power line through here, on down through here. They had really big, kind of beat up the road some, so. Anyway, we're almost there. All right, we're kind of cruising on in here this time because I want it to be. There he is. Pretty good haul. We're gonna roll right up on him. It'll just hang out a little bit longer. I'm gonna put this on him right here. Yeah, he got him a little spot. Okay. Just got me muddy. Uh -huh. Well, slinging it all over. That's a that's a big one.
and pop him down. Yeah, we can't get him right now. Facing me. Keep running up on me like that. Won't. Hold on just a minute. Real poppy, I just need you to look at me. Hey. Bang him right behind the ear. I'm going to go over here and double tap him. And then we'll see what this dude's all about. Yeah, you can see he got some decent little low fuzzy woods on him. Oh, got him there. All right, well, guess who called me? I text Red this morning. Red's gonna come back out here. He actually was cooking uh, for a church group or something, and uh, they just got done. And uh, anyway, he was gonna grab biscuit. He's gonna come out here. We're gonna move his trap. Is what we're gonna do and uh get it done done right here and we'll explain all that here in a little bit but i'm just gonna kind of get an idea so when you see me again and the traps down <laughs> you won't be like <laughs> what happened uh we're gonna take it down so uh, red is on the way to help out a little bit Ooh. here come old help right here yeah right on time <laughs> I told you Red was coming. Well, Red, I'm I, old and slow, but I get that. <laughs> uh, I got the bottom part of the trap taken down, but I didn't want to take the rest of it down because I wanted, from the YouTube comments, I got to explain a few things on like the trap because a lot of people had a lot more suggestions for me. And with that being said, ain't got nothing to do with dragging it, does it? <laughs> ain't, got nothing, ain't got nothing to do with dragging it. Uh, other than we need a roller on the back of that thing, and then I need to put a winch on that thing, on that trailer. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna get some pictures real quick and whatnot, and then we'll get the rest of this trap taken down. So you uh, you was cooking breakfast this morning? Yeah, I had the Mississippi All State Youth Choir there at the church, and they sang last night, and they going back somewhere else. So. We fed them this morning before they headed out. Oh, yeah. That way they sleep and be quiet for that bus driver. <laughs> for that bus driver. <laughs> I always think the bus driver. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I could sing. You bring me a biscuit. I could sing for you for well, a biscuit. I, you know, I, well, I did have you one, but yeah. he did, 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 didn't quite make it. <laughs> he didn't make it, it here. He become a casualty of war. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, let's get a few pictures and then we'll talk about the trap one more time. All right, guys. Well, I got Red here with me, and uh, we had to take the rest of the trap down, but I'm going to let him hold the camera. We're going to ask him a few questions and show you all a few things and see if y'all come up with some more suggestions and then ha maybe have a little suggestion from Red if he has any suggestions. But uh, like I said, we got a picture with it. But anyway, let's go right here and show you kind of what I got. I'm just going to get inside and bend down right here. So uh, you can just show it right here how you have to do it. But first thing they said, Red, was uh, we needed to blow some holes and this right here and drive some stakes down to hold the trap. Now it has three legs, but my, my question is, if we if we drill a hole and just say we drive some stakes in there, what happens to the, the trap? Does, it, does this give, does this bend over like I did when I pulled it with a trap? Oh, it sounds like a good idea, but if they're hitting it and springing it, Something's got to give, right? That's right. Some, something's going to have to give somewhere. It would actually be better for the trap to slide than it would be to, you know, stay mounted if they hit it, you know, to and bent something. Right. Uh, I really don't know how much force they can put on it to bend it, but you got some leverage right there. probably, what, three foot? Yeah. Because that top section don't move. Right, right. So yeah, now, all, move. now everything, all of the pressure is going to go to here. Right, which, you know, it, which uh, could cause a crimp or something yeah, like that. Yeah, could cause it to crimp or right. kink. And the next thing was, as far as moving it, somebody said that we could weld 
some uh, rollers on the inside that we could flip down or have it and whatnot. But it sounds like a good idea to do it, but there's, there's two concepts to that about welding or, or clamping anything on here uh, is this is how that trap works. Yeah. So when I unbolt these, this stays with this piece and so on around. Uh, and also the only thing about having rollers on it in general is uh, just say you did, just say it would work. Say it didn't work like that. This trap's like 900 to a thousand pounds. I can't pick up on one end to even get the roller to flip down so it could sit up like a, uh, like a grocery cart. So uh, I guess that, I don't know if that, I don't know if you call that myth is debunked or not, but uh, I'm reading the comments and I'm going at it and I want people to know that I'm reading them and trying to listen to these suggestions. But uh, I guess I've just been slow on trying to show you why things work and why they don't. Whew, I'm out of breath. It takes a lot to run this mouth, Red. <laughs> <laughs> but another thing is somebody said, dry T post on the outside of the, of the trap. So if it does slide, it don't go far. That's a great concept, but here's the thing. This is a gravel road. TVA kind of built this road a couple years ago when they built power lining. I could do all I could do to drive that T post outside of the, the main road. So, that's basically why this was done here. And the reason it slid is because it's on gravel. It's basically on its own rollers, don't you think? Like rocks is just kind of yeah. like its own rollers. So uh, it don't happen if it's out there. But we are taking this down today because that hog has caused a mud problem in the road. So uh, we had that big storm. Another big storm, Red. Yeah. <laughs> Another big storm. It was rumbling in Tibby last <laughs> night. I know that. <laughs> I'm telling you, so it, it, it got bad. <clears throat> I had to cut that ceiling, I mean, that, that box fan on high so I wouldn't hear it. <laughs> oh, but anyway, that's kind of the sum of the things. And if, if anybody else got any more suggestions, keep popping them in there. But uh, me and Red's going to get this, the rest of it broke down, sat out of the way, and then uh, figure out how we're going to get the hog to the, to the scales. You got a Phillips head screwdriver? Yeah. Okay, because I got a brand new scale that somebody sent me, <laughs> and they want me to try it out. So we're going to weigh this hog and see what, see what a hog like it size way so well anybody got any ideas about uh how much damage a hog can do there's a hole right there that i'm gonna say probably five or six inches deep in a gravel road that he rooted up with his nose so don't never think that them song gun nose ain't stout and just if that's in a gravel road just think what they do to a crop field your food plots your gardens your yards and all that so uh, we're gonna get this part and let, let the raccoons have the rest of this corn Ten four. We get busy. <laughs> All right. We, we got him hooked up with the pocket drag. Red got him hooked up. Me and Red decided that we just didn't have it in us to, to pull him up in the back of the truck. So we're going to drag him up there to the road, see if we can't get him weighed up. See if it's scale. Somebody sent me a scale. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, we're going to see if it'll work and see if we can't get a weight on this pig. I mean, he ain't no giant, but we're just going to kind of get an idea. He's pretty stout, though. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, I always say all hogs are 185. I don't care if they're 300, but I'm gonna say 155. I'm gonna say 155. They hard to judge. They hard to judge. Uh, we'll see. Huh. Get that big hog. We're trying to see how much he weighs here. I don't know if his feet gonna hang up. Oh yeah, he coming on. Oh, Red's itching to have a little fun. A little bit. All right. That thing a hole. What we got there, Red? Woo! 215, cuz. Wow. I think the pigs have been a lot bigger than what I've been thinking over the years. Man, it's probably possible. Highly <laughs> possible. Oh, boy. That's the one I caught the other day. Must have been 275 in. That's two, 214, 215. I kind of figured he's somewhere around 180 myself. Yeah. 200. I thought, well, I was over-guessing over him. Golly. Like I said, oh, that's, I mean, he looks, I guess he looks a lot stouter right there. Yeah. There you go, a little bit. How big you? Yeah. How much you weigh? That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I weighed more than I did when I was born. We'll leave it to <laughs> Everybody's always talking about me, Red. They always say it, uh, you uh you're getting kind of thick there, y'all. I was like, well, like, you know, you gotta be one with the pig if you're gonna be, if you're gonna catch pig. Go. I'm the pot belly pig, but uh 
All right, well, we're going to, I'm going to get a few pictures of him and then uh, we'll get him loaded up in the back of that truck. He done stuck a toe down. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that'll work right there. Like I said, guys. Oh, yeah, that toe held him down. Past 216, really? Yeah, trying to shortchange my pig, man. Yeah. Trying to shortchange my pig. <laughs> <laughs> well, there he is. He's on the tailgate. Red, we've already called somebody, and they said they want the hole. Yeah. Folks are hungry. That's what they need. That's it right there. So, uh, it's hard for a lot of people. For a lot they of appreciate people. appreciate getting something good to eat. That's right. They, uh, well, they're going to have 216 pounds of, of, of dead weight. I don't know what the total weight is. I need to do that on YouTube one day, is take that, that dead weight and then turn it into see how much actual meat yeah. you get out of it. But uh, usually I tell people, when people ask me how much actual meat do you get out of it, I say uh, a month's supply for a family of four. <laughs> <Not right. laughs> you know. <sighs> so anyway, uh, we got baseball supposedly this afternoon. And... Uh, we're not gonna end it just yet, Red, because uh, I got a lot more invested in the day. So there you go. My wife still early. My wife says stay busy until she gets home. Yeah. I gotta go see if I can get my wife's car going before I get started on today. So. See, hey, that's what happened when you hang with me. Stuff just start breaking down. <laughs> start rubbing off yeah. on you, know. <laughs> Red, says, I don't know if I can weld on them electronics. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate it, Red. You bet. Thank and, you. Uh, and the whale's held. Big hog down. There you go. Uh, all right. What we got here is we're probably going to have a pitching chain. We are, I can't see the score out there. We are 4-4 four four tied, bases loaded, one out, and Harlow Ellis is up to bat. There's Harlow. We had not been hitting good. We've been hitting the ball. We just had not been, uh, yeah. we've been hitting it to somebody. So. Oh, Harlow, bases loaded. Oh, right to somebody. Get over his head. Get over here. Go. 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 Keep running. Good job, Harlow. You see it? You gonna be on my YouTube? You gonna be on my YouTube? No. have come back. They've got bases loaded. We need one out to win this ball game. Strike. There you go. Well, we just need one out in this game right here. Get up. Get up. Ball game. It's got to be ball game. Ball game. He caught it. Good deal. Awesome. All right, guys, we are starting a new game here. <sighs> Bottom of the first inning, Harlow starting it off with us again. Let's see how he does starting off. Ball high, ball high. The thing about starting off a game is start off the hitter needs to have a few pitches thrown to him. Here you go. Harlow's one of those first pitch hitters sometimes. And he's ready to kind of do it and get out of there, but he's learning a new role here today. Oh, hi. Hi. You know what to do here. Hit a danger. <laughs> You got him a strike good now, you ready. Had four pitches, we're about a minute into the game on Harlow. Let's hit Harlow, he's ready to hit now. 
Ah. Mm. Just put one in the uh, softball field over here. We got a softball field next to us. All right, hold up. Two, two. Or actually, it's three, two, but they got it wrong on the scoreboard. Hey, walk. There you go. Uh oh. Get up. Time. All right, Carlos got two strikes on. He's got to run on third. Perfect hit, right up the middle. Way to go, son. see me or not but we're headed home it's about 9 30 and uh Harlow's riding home with another parent because they're going through west point where his truck is and i'm not i'm going around west point and going home so anyway uh we'll see you when you get home in this video 9 26 see you in my trailer hood come on uh -huh. get in that car them boys ready Go. <laughs> Got a little seven on seven action today. The little football camp over here at ICC in Itawamba, Mississippi. Harlow is a wide receiver and quarterback today. Just having a little fun. Come on with it. So see what we can come up with. And things. Y'all stick with us, man. We need scholarships. So we play in every sport we can. Boy can't color inside the lines, but he, he can catch a ball, throw a baseball. Carlos on the far side there. Baseball hat. They got us on the big field now. Oh, yeah. Like I said, just having a little fun, football. I think we're the only private school here playing against these big boys or public schools everywhere, man. That's some big old tanks right there. <laughs> you want to call him? Look, everybody hollering, holler, holler. <laughs> He's making that boy tap out. He's making him tap out over there. Man, them boys on 
defense and some tanks. That's the one that hit you like your mama's ex-boyfriend. You hear me? I'm glad it's two-hand touch today. Alright. Oh, look at a different man. He on him in his nose, too. He on his nose, too. He's through the middle. He's over the middle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Played over there on the practice field. Uh, Harlow had a few drops. He'd been down on himself. He come in here and then caught two good ones. And uh, mentally, he back up in the game. So, any of y'all got any uh, recommendations on how to keep him mentally in the game when you had those bad things? Let me know. There he is right there. In his face. Get out of him. Uh, Throw it to the big man over there. Throw it to the big man. It's all right. I done brought the guy in with the sombrero to cover Harlow. Get Harlow on the sideline. Get your drink. Get your drink. Two. He going. Nope. Oh. All right. Get your drink. Harlow just said his stomach cramping. I'm gonna tell you why his stomach cramping. Cause before the game yesterday, he hit one of them, hit one of them energy drinks. I didn't told him, but it's hard for me to tell him, cause I be drinking some myself, you know. But the energy drink for the baseball game got a cramping, stomach cramping here, so I might have to lay the law down. Neither one of us can have an energy drink from now on. Oh, it's hot in this football season. Man, nice place. All right, here we go. All right. Got it back in. Okay, we got another defensive player in there. Got another defensive player in there. He got his hat on backwards too. All right, boom. All right, what did I say? It's good. What you do? I almost had a touchdown. I almost what you do? Hold on, the end right here. And we're right on the goal line. I took my quarterback sneaky. I don't know if it's legal, but I sneak it. Oh, he was there. Got him a touchdown. There you go. What a fake one. What a fake one. They got, they're using Harlow as a decoy now. I got the whole, whole line over here. Harlow, Harlow, Harlow. Throw it to the other side. Come back. Get them two point conversions going on right here. They got decoy this time. They're going to put it in the corner. They're going to put him on a jump. We got Dalton Wooten right next to Harlow. What is, I thought it was a coach. He got a grown man's beard. Right there. Back. Oh, he had a move on him. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. That's a good move. That's a good footstep. All right, we start another game. We'll get to the other side of the field where Harlow is. He plays on that other side. I don't know if you call that what you call it, the right side, left side. Anyway, we headed across. You only want to play on college level field. Now we are. Turnover on downs. All the way back across the other side of the field. Playing defensive back. Holding oh, no. up. Yeah, he got it. Interception. Interception. Back on offense. Right there, he's gonna cut back in. Yeah, he ran into his own man. Good job, Harlow. Good job, Harlow. Nice. Right. Harlow's on my side. You see him with the hat. Where we going? Turn now. Oh. It's all right. Good job, Mason. Oh, nice. Boom, boom, boom. Oh! oh, I saw it. I saw it. Oh. All right. After an interception, our quarterback, Harlow, had to go in. Oh, they are going to time out. Who knows?
Oh, those on this side. Boom, boom, go! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Swap on Harlow. Harlow's on the right side. No, he's cut. He ain't gonna get it. Good job. Good job. Game over. Nobody hurt. Good sportsmanship. All right, we back, guys. We back. New game, new opponent. Who we got? Boom. All right, back on the other side now. Nope. Nope. Oh, he was out. Go time. Man is winning. Rock. Oops. Yes, sir. There you go. What did shake it off, son? No, he's not on the end. We three wide receivers set over here. Oh, he's in the middle of it. Oh, he just got pushed off. Uh-oh. Ah! Hey, running. Get back. <laughs> That's it. Another game down. All right, well, y'all have seen some hog action, y'all have seen some baseball action, some football action, and now. Got a special guest with me. Hmm? See what he did to get here. Come on. <laughs> anyway, you see what we done done. That's a big one. Whew, but you're going to wait till the next episode to see it. So y'all be ready. What do y'all think he weighs? Hmm? We know what he weighs. He's thick. He's big. Whoo! Be ready for the next episode of the Y'all Y'all Show. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Ow!